but we fielded a team of drones in Antarctica to monitor penguin habitats and to basically use them to autonomously count how many penguins there are to understand birth rates, location, why penguins build nests where they do. It's really quite remote. It was a, a tent on the ice, you know, a kilometer away from the sea. Yeah. So this is coming into the field camp. It's all rock and ice. The conditions are very harsh and that you have very quickly changing weather. Also, the thing that you're trying to survey changes. It's moving around, right? So the population of penguins are actually moving. For both of those reasons, speed is really essential. So you want to get these images as quickly as possible over a large region. And so almost all the existing technologies for doing this are with a single drone. Most of them require significant human intervention. So you either have a human pilot piloting the drone or you have quite a bit of hand tuning in the human designing where the drone flies. A lot of the other surveys they've done are with uh, helicopter surveys. And the helicopters just can't get as close, even though the helicopters can have way better cameras. And also the helicopters are actually a pretty big disturbance. It's just very loud. And that really bothers the penguins because it's a really isolated environment. If the penguin is too scared, it will abandon its nest. It will basically just abandon the eggs that are there. So it's a pretty big environmental hazard. We wanted a sort of plug and play single button solution where the human provides a map of the area they're interested in, they hit a button, and our algorithm produces for them a set of paths to be flown by multiple drones, which means you can take the survey much faster, right? So if you have two drones instead of one, you can take the survey twice as fast. If you have four drones, you can take the survey in a quarter of the time. And then the other advantage is complete autonomy. So you just press a button and the drones take off and do all the work for you. And really the drone technology can be any drone on the market. What I mostly focused on was the actual path planning mechanism, the actual algorithm. It's a large area and you want to cover this as efficiently as possible. So what my algorithm really does is it partitions the whole space of points over the penguin colony. It will assign a series of points to each drone in a way that wherever the drone comes into the colony, it sort of will go and like loop around and leave at the same point. I believe it was taking them something like three days. And with our system, with multiple drones flying in parallel and everything automated, it, it takes about two and a half hours. Autonomous robots can help us, help humans manage our changing world, our changing environment, at a scale where humans could never do this before. Humans could never leap into the sky and count 300,000 penguins. Bye, guys. See you next week.